It's a kind of ironic toy from Poundland, given the name. But it's a, a motorised device, and I was wondering how easy is it to get the motor out of this if you wanted, say, a motor at short notice. So I'll let you work out what this is for yourself. Suffice to say that it does come with a AAA cell inside it and a little spacer. What brand is the cell? It is a... Paiden? Paiden? Yeah, anyway, it's a cell. Oh, there's a little o-ring to keep it uh, from getting moist. Um, and then this screws on. And I'll zoom down for this, not that you particularly want to get too much a close-up of this thing. And when you push the button end, it does... Get, well, can you hear it? I don't know if you'll hear that, because it's very quiet. It's not a super powerful massage device for massaging bits of your body. But anyway, it is a simple click-on, click-off button. And uh, if we go inside, how is this going to come out? I can see a little paper sleeve in here. I can see the usual arrangement. Hold on, where's that pair of side cutters? This is very reminiscent of the... Bigger ones. Oh, in fact, you know what? It is the exact same construction. Does that mean the motor is just going to pull right out? Let's find out. So this strip here usually folds inside. This is uh, never going to go back together again, but that's okay. I have no intention of using such a thing. And then maybe, maybe if I pull this, and this is where a pair of pliers would even better. No, it's rock solid. It's not coming out. I may have to use violence to get into this, which I shall do right now. One moment, please. Well, this is not going to be going back together anytime soon at all. It is a very destructive approach to get in. Once I'm actually in, I may find there was a better way than this. But this is the way I'm going in at the moment. I did try bang it quite quietly, if you'll excuse the terminology, given what it is. Uh, but didn't want to bother the neighbours, because once again, I am up late and i'm not sure what time the neighbors downstairs go to bed just because of where i am and i don't want to be that neighbor is this a multiple layer i don't think it is i don't think it is a separate sleeve inserted in, or if it is hmm. it may be glued is that going to come out no this is going to be most destructive yes quite a thick layer of chrome actually I should have checked that for conductivity, but I think it would be conductive. Most of these chrome coatings are. Is this even going to give me access once I've busted my way down it like this? Who knows? I'll find out when I bust my way down there. Hopefully they've not glued it right in, because that would be really annoying. I'm wondering what other applications this little motor would have. Either with or without its concentric weight, or eccentric weight, should I say on the end of it for that vibratory thing. It's uh, turning out to be a very small motor. It reminds me of this a phone pager type motor. Is this going to glean much? Oh, is this kind of glued in? Oh, I think that is glued in. I don't think it wants to come out. Right, I'm going to have to pause momentarily because this looks like it's going to be a huge nibble session. One moment, please. Yeah, hacksaw and everything, that was not easy to get out, but it is out. It's quite a smart little motor. Uh, the current, when it's being run, is approximately, let me just try and get the connections on here, with its little concentric weight, about 50 milliamps-ish at uh, 1.5 volts, and without the weight, which does come off fairly easily, the motor current with no load is, fumble, fumble, gets the connections back on again, fails to get connections back on again. Oh, is this where a crocodile clips would be so much easier? Uh, 30 milliamps, and no vibration of the motor at all, because there's no, not a concentric weight in it. Eccentric weight, even. Uh, interesting little motor. Uh, I should really measure the shaft of that. Should, I give, shall give you the measurements. One moment, please. And the dimensions are, the shaft is one millimetre diameter. The body is 
approximately 12 millimeters diameter and the length of the motor including i think this little thing at the back would come off but let's just go the full length minus the shaft is approximately 18 millimeters long and the shaft itself i could theoretically uh, measure this just by going like this and it is approximately five millimeters long so if you need a motor with those specifications one is available in suspicious things in Poundland, which is actually quite a useful way to get something like this. It's just a, a convenient source of a low current, low voltage motor that might suit some applications.